Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another episode of D&D for Dummies and today's video is going to be on two races because there is so little information on both of them that I'm going to put them into one video and today's races will be the human and the variance human as they are basically the same with some very small differences. Now there is some, you know, information in regards to how your character should look and their backstory, but I'm going to, of course, be talking about how to actually make the character functionally. So, uh, that link will be in the description once again for you guys to go check that out if you want to read upon some more of the histories of the history of the humans in the D&D world. Anyway, let's get on to the stuff that we always talk about. Firstly, ability score increase. This class does come with an ability score increase. This is the regular human, by the way. For a regular human, every stat gets an increase of one. So whatever your stat is on the dice, add one to it when you roll. So whatever you roll, plus one to it, whichever stat it is that you're rolling for. Age. Um, well, I think we already know that one, right? They reach adulthood by the age of probably 18 and live just under a century. So pretty human, if you ask me. It's alignment. Uh, could be anything. Could be anywhere along the lawful, good, neutral, any scale. So, pretty much choose whatever alignment you like. Size, they vary, they vary very widely in terms of height and build, from barely f 5 feet to well over 6 feet tall, regardless of your position in that range, your size, your size is medium, so... Woo! Your speed is a base speed of 30 feet, so, pr again, pretty standard human stuff, and languages, you can speak, read, and write common, aka English, or whatever language you speak, and any other language of your choice. Humans typically learn the languages from other people that they deal with, including obscure dialects. They're fond of sprinkling their speech with words borrowed from other tongues. Sound familiar? Like elvi elvish musical expressions, orc curses or swear words, yeah, and dwarfish military phrase phrases and so on. And now for the very, very little information about the variant human. Yes, there's even less. Your, your ability scores increases. You can only choose two to increase by one, so not as good. Um, your skills, you gain proficiency in one skill of your choice, and you gain one feat of your choice. Unfortunately, that's all there is to this race slash races. Now, again, they are probably the easiest to understand, some might say too easy, which, yeah, I get that, but if you want something a bit more easy going and not as hard to try and remember, the human is definitely the way to go, as you know most of the stuff already, because, obviously, human. Like, they've really stuck to real life when it comes to the humans. Like, they average... They, they age towards an adult by 18. They last just, o just under a century in terms of lifespan. And of course, they're pretty normal, so if you want a character that's a bit more realistic, human's probably the best way to go, because again, a human's a human. There's not really much to them, and that's probably how they should be. And I'll be honest, bit of a cardinal sin, I suppose. I've never actually played a human that I can remember, so yeah, I might need to do that at some point. Um, whoops. Don't quite know how I haven't played a human yet. You think after playing for four years, I might have done it at some point, but from what my memory banks are telling me, I haven't, so I need to fix that soon. Anyway, that'll do it for this video, guys. So as always, people, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to mine, and Rock Sounds, and Frost YouTube channels. The links are in the description. My sub button is down there. Yep, that big red one, unless you've already subbed. Then it's grey. Thanks for that, by the way. And once you've done that, don't forget to click all three of our bell icons to get all three sets of our notifications. Comment as well, because why not? And let me know if you'll be playing as the human or variance human in your D&D campaign. Once you've done that too, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. I'll be going live on Stereo again tomorrow, by the way. Those links are going to be in the link tree. Once you've done that too, don't forget to follow Roxanne on her blog and Frost on his Instagram. Their links are also in the description below the link tree. And lastly, of course, 
Don't forget to share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.